It's possible to use Fusion 360 to make a DXF file without actually having to make a body. The reason this is important is if we're doing a plasma cutting, like we're doing, and we want to make just single line cuts, uh, they will not uh, appear in a body when we do Fusion 360, but there's a way around it. Let me show you how we're going to do it. We'll oh, just uh, start drawing. We'll set up a, a sketch here on the top. And uh, we're going to make a pan. Let's say we make a pan that's out of eighth inch material. We only have a 16 gauge uh, finger break, so uh, it'd be a problem bending that heavy material. So one way to get around that is just put some little slots in it to, uh, to provide bend relief. So let's start off with um, Making this, this uh, sketch, and um, I can, I'll just put it down here, I guess. Uh, and we'll make a, a sketch on, let's say, an 8 by 10 pan. So I'm going to go 10, 10, 8. All right. So there's our the bottom of our pan. Now we have to make the sides. Let's make it two inches deep. Nothing special about two inches, it's just work good for us today. So I'm going to draw the sides. A lot of fun watching somebody struggle with this, isn't it? Okay, two inches. All right, let me um, turn off the dimensions and constraints. So this area right now, that would be the, the bottom of the pan, and then this would be the right side, left side, front side, back side. Now, if, again, if we tried to bend this thing in our break, it would just be too much for it. So let's cut some little slots to uh, uh, take the stress off the, the break. So we'll, I'll go over here, oh, I don't know. some distance that doesn't matter. Just something that you're comfortable with. Let's see. There's probably a better way of doing this. making this now it's the interesting thing is wherever we cut away material we're going to be leaving material <laughs> so so we've got two cuts that we that will be made so now I'm gonna get rid of these guidelines copy this down to here so I'm going to select those create a copy set the y distance to I guess it would be minus a with y distance of minus eight Yeah, 
site. And I can come down here and select this line and delete it. We'll do a similar thing over here. I got four, right? like these and we'll copy those over and should be x distance of 10 okay and we're gonna go select this line and delete it all right so things here. So if we look at this thing, now we've got these little lines here. Now if we were to try to create, <clears throat> move this into a body, then those lines wouldn't carry because they're not a closed object. But if we look over here, Sketch. We can actually save this as a DXF just the way it is. So I'm going to call this a, a pan. And uh, save that DXF. Now let's go into uh, Sheet Cam, which is our plasma cutting program. And um, make a new part. Over again as a um, we'll find our pan. Here it is. Open that, and there we go. The uh, red lines are the outer part of it, and then we have these white lines, which are just single cuts. So we're all set. We can set up our operation that sort of thing at this point. All right, thank you.